Welcome back. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add a screen recording to your PowerPoint presentation. Firstly, you need to go to the insert tab at the top and then the furthest right option, or at least at the time of recording this, the furthest right option is the screen recording one in the media section. Click screen recording and you'll be prompted with this new window at the top. We've got the record option, the stop, the select area, audio and record pointer. So these two settings on the right are up to you. If you want audio within the screen recording, you'll need to have this checked and you need to select record pointer if you want your mouse to be included on the recording. Click select area and then you'll be able to drag the area out. If you drag from the top corner or go to any of the sides, it will automatically fill the screen. But if you only want to record a section of your screen, for example, we'll just use the top left here. You can select that area like that. All you need to do now is click the record button when you're ready and then record your screen or whatever you want to do within the recording. So you get three, two, one, and then you'll be able to record. So it's currently recording in this section. So we could click on that and click off it. And then once we're done, we need to hit the Windows key, the Shift key and the Q button at the same time. So all at the same time, all three buttons, and it will automatically stop the recording and bring up PowerPoint. Now it will automatically have our recording selected. We can change some of the settings so we can change the brightness and add a border to the recording. So we can do things like soften the edges and make them circular. We can change the size of the rounded corners with this yellow circle. You can drag it right to make them larger and left to make them smaller. And we can change the size of the overall recording and choose where we want it to be. And you can rotate it as well. Click play and it will play the recording as it was. So you can see our mouse is there and it will click on resolve, which is what we did. So once you've changed the visuals of this, we can change some of the playback settings by clicking the playback button in video tools. We can change many things in here. We can change the volume and the fades, but you might be more interested in the start option here. So at the moment it's set to in click sequence, but we can change it to automatically start. So if we now previewed the presentation, so this is the first slide. And as soon as we go to the second slide, the video will start automatically. You can also select loop until stopped as well. And that will mean the video will keep playing and looping whilst you're on that slide. And then we can also trim in this section as well. If you click trim video, you can use the red and the green buttons here to drag to make the video longer or shorter and cut out any bits, for example, at the start and end that we don't need. So these two tabs are the ones you'll need to focus on. Feel free to have a look through them and change any of the settings to make the video how you want it to be. And that's it. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in another video.